Samsung Galaxy S7 Slow Charging Step 4, bring the phone back to its factory default settings and try charging it again. In other words, reset the phone. You don't have much of an option right now and considering the problem just occurred without apparent reason, there's a chance something must have gone wrong with some of the data. You've already cleared the system cache, so this time, try deleting all the data but of course, make sure you back up your important files, music, videos, photos. If you have a micro SD card, transfer them in and remove the SD card. Then, remove your Google account and disable the screen lock so as not to trip the enter theft feature and then follow these steps. 1. Turn off your Samsung Galaxy S7. 2. Press and then hold the home and volume up keys, then press and hold the power key. Note, it doesn't matter how long you press and hold the home and volume up keys, it won't affect the phone but by the time you press and hold the power key, that's when the phone starts to respond. 3. When the Samsung Galaxy S7 shows on the screen, release the power key but continue holding the home and volume up keys. 4. When the Android logo shows, you may release both keys and leave the phone be for about 30 to 60 seconds. Note, the installing system update message may show on the screen for several seconds before displaying the Android system recovery menu. This is just the first phase of the entire process. 5. Using the volume down key, navigate through the options and highlight wipe data forward slash factory reset. 6. Once highlighted, you may press the power key to select it. 7. Now highlight the option yes, delete all user data using the volume down key and press the power button to select it. 8. Wait until your phone is finished doing the master reset. Once completed, Highlight Reboot System now and press the power key. 9. The phone will now reboot longer than usual. This is the last resort and it's expected that a problem like yours will be fixed by doing this procedure, if not, then it's time to visit a technician or return the phone.